Okay, it's like super dark in here, so I apologize. But, um, so I'm up watching the sermon, and as I'm watching the sermon, I'm getting confirmations, and I'm hearing um, the Ruach HaKadosh say a lot of things to me. And he told me to make this video about um, something pretty significant that happened to me. Um, before I gave my life to Yeshua, I was um, pretty promiscuous, <laughs> to say the least. Um, and I did wind up contracting something from a married couple that I was dating. Yes, I was dating a whole married couple. <laughs> but um, and we both found out, um, me and the wife found out that the husband wasn't even being faithful to the both of us. But it just so happened that the wife was a nurse so she was able to get us seen and treated for like twenty dollars it was pretty amazing however the damage that was done to my reproductive organs was already done and like I said I was not I was not in a child of the most high at that time I hadn't given my life to him yet so I wound up in an actual relationship with a guy. I wound up getting pregnant, and it wound up being an ectopic pregnancy. My right fallopian tube wound up um, rupturing, and I went into the hospital. I had to have emergency laparoscopy to remove my fallopian tube and the fetus that you know can't grow in your fallopian tube. And my blood had been pooling into my stomach. And the consultation afterwards, Dr. Romani, I still remember his name, El Romani, he told me that because the blood in, that was pooling into my stomach was still fresh and it was able to be used, that the transplant, the blood transfusion that they had to give me came from my own blood. My dad is ex-army, retired as um, a chief warrant officer. So with that being said, we as children went to the doctor pretty regularly. We had the ability to. So prior to this ectopic pregnancy, I've always been A-positive. Um, I've known this for years. I was 24 when this happened, by the way. So I'm 24, A-positive, all this other stuff. So let's fast forward. This was in 2008. Let's fast forward to 2016. When I get pregnant with my son. So... When you're pregnant, you have to have your blood drawn quite often. You're constantly being poked and prodded by needles. But um, the significant thing about it was the midwife was talking to me about some test results. They weren't negative test results. It was nothing you know, bad or anything. But she had just casually mentioned my blood type. And so I asked her, are you sure you have the right patient? Because she mentioned my blood type as being O positive. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm A positive, so it has to be a mistake. Well, they ran several more tests, and I'm O positive. Now, back in 2008, after I recovered from, I forgot to mention that, after I recovered from my emergency laparoscopy, I gave my life to Yeshua. So eight years later, I find out that not only did he change my mind and change my heart, he literally made me into a new creature. Like, I have universal blood. Do you know how significant that is? Because he is the God of all all that means those who hate him those who've turned from him those who don't believe in him those who 
oppose like he's the god of all he's a universal god and he left a mark on me to remind me of this fact went from being a positive to o positive universal blood type now like i said you might not find anything significant about that but I do I don't know why it took me so long to make this video but that is <sighs> and and when I first moved into this house um, the room that I stay in the woman that formerly owned the house she allowed me to keep the furniture that's in my bedroom so I'm unfamiliar with this furniture, right? So I go to pack, you know, like to start putting stuff in the drawers and everything. And I pull the drawer out too far, not realizing how shallow it is. And this solid wood drawer falls on my toe, <laughs> my big toe on my right foot. All I had on was a sock. And after I stopped screaming out in pain, <laughs> I heard the Ruach HaKodesh tell me to pray, so I covered my entire toe with my hand and I thanked Abba for my healing. And when I took my hand away, because I had pressed down too hard, I saw there was a bloody spot on my sock, so I took my sock off because I know people that have had things fall on their toes and... It wasn't even as bad as what happened with me and literally their whole toenail fell off so I'm expecting the worst. Do you know that when I took my sock off it was blood and water that was slowly oozing up out of my toe. Slowly oozing up out of my toe. And the days to come I just knew it was going to be bruising. I just knew it was going to be like horrendous um if it wasn't so dark <laughs> i'd show it to you maybe i'll take a picture and put it in the links below the video but you really can't even tell that anything happened to my toe and i mean i i was still waiting for like a bruise to show up or or some swelling or nothing happened that little bit of blood and water oozed out the first day and then I was good. And I remembered when Yeshua was hanging on the cross, when they pierced his side, scripture says that blood and water poured out of him. <sighs> I'm sorry, you guys, but it, it's just... The scripture, well, not the scripture, the sermon that I'm watching is, let me see if I can turn it around so you can see it. I don't know if you can see it because I can't see the phone, but after this, Dr. Matthew Stevenson on walking waters. So he's talking about, um, obviously when people, um, when, um, Yeshua was walking on water to Kepha, um, but it was just, you know, miracles. And this morning in my personal, uh, prayer time with Yahuwah, he was talking to me well he's been talking to me this season period about how Yeshua came and he restored our power and authority he restored our dominion over this earth when Adam and Eve were in the garden they were given dominion over this earth well Adam was given dominion and Eve was given us his help meet which means she had dominion as well because she can't help him without the same dominion that he has but so they were both given dominion over this world. Yeshua restored our dominion over this world. So the walking on water is like, and it's funny because that's actually one of the scriptures that the Ruach HaKodesh has been talking to me about as well. But he's basically been telling me this season, like, stop drinking milk. Stop waiting for me to do it and you do it. I gave you that power and authority through my only begotten son. He died and rose again so that you can do it. <laughs> wow. 
anyway, I hope that this, I hope you got something from this. I know that just talking about it is making me smile because he is so amazing. Like, he is so amazing. Abba is amazing. It sure is amazing. The Ruach Akugesh is amazing. So, hopefully you got something out of this. I know I did just by verbalizing it. And I pray that you will ask the whole the Holy Spirit, the Ruach Hakodesh, how to help you practically apply this knowledge to your walk with him. Or that you just grow closer in your walk with him and let him do all the work. <laughs> That's between you and him. It has nothing to do with me. But let me go back to watching this for men. And you guys have a very blessed day. Shalom.